I'm going to be talking about a couple of things in Indeed uh, that have helped in my job search. The first one is an advanced search feature. They don't advertise it here. And the only way I found it was <clears throat> I was searching one day and uh, I was going through a bunch of jobs that I didn't really want and didn't fit my background. And suddenly a, a little link popped up right here. I don't know why it did or how it did it, but it took me to an advanced search thing. And I've never been able to get it to recreate. But how we're going to get to that advanced search is so we're going to come up here and go indeed.com like we normally would. And then we're going to say slash advanced underscore search. That's going to pull up this, and it has you know, your typical fields for advanced search. Uh, find job ads with this exact phrase or find ones that don't include these words and so this is really helpful when you're looking for a job because um, I use this with none uh, for all the jobs it helps filter out the jobs that you know require a lot more experience that I don't have so up here this would be like what you would normally enter so I'm gonna say tax for me with this exact phrase, I don't use this, but it might be helpful if you were looking for a, something specific um, with at least one of these words. So it's an option there if you're in a, let's say you, you were trying to go for various jobs, um, you could enter a bunch of different keywords here. None of them, I'm gonna choose this right here. And then this is with words in the title. So I'm also going to say tax here in the title. We can say full time here. Some of these are also on the front page um, in the standard one. Um, we have a button here though that's not exclude staffing agencies. So that's very useful. <clears throat> then we can say within 25 miles of wherever we want to be. And then we can say display 50 and sort it by date. All right, and that's my normal search. So I'm going to click search. <clears throat> All right, so you can see here how it's manipulated this what box up here. And we've got our search term, tax. And then to search just the title, it uses title and then a colon to the left of that term to indicate that we're only looking in the title for this term. And then for the ones that it's excluding, it just puts a minus right in front of it. So that's how it does that search. And then once we've done that, now we still have all these normal um, filters down here that we can play with and manipulate. So um, let's say we wanted to look for something with a master's degree. We could filter out everything except those that, requ that require a master's degree. I don't know that this requires a master's degree. Let's look. So I'm not sure how it does that. I never use the education filter. But anyway, um, those are there. So that's the first tip. The second tip I have, if we come over here to my jobs, and these are the jobs that we've saved as we've gone through and looked. And every now and then, uh, if, if you don't apply right away, some of these will expire or close. And you don't have any way to click on it and and view uh, what that job posting was. So to do this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to right click anywhere, come down to inspect, and we're going to hit this little uh, this little button right here on the top left of this uh, little pop-up. And we're going to choose that, and we're going to come over here and, and we're going to highlight, put our cursor right on the title here, and it's going to highlight the title. And then we're going to click on this and it's going to take us to this section of the HTML code and it's got a little link right here. So we're going to click this link and now we can see the uh, job ad and it's obviously expired and it has a message up here expired but we're able to see what that job ad was. <clears throat>